reason I gotta ask you a question because I think you have pretty much figured this out for yourself. What does it take to become an athlete? Hmm, that's a good question. I would say dedication, commitment, desire. Mm -hmm. But one thing I think many people might overlook is a support system, but not just friends and family who are cheering you on, a support system that knows what they're doing, one that can work with you and guide you to help you realize what you're capable of and to help you get there, one that stays on top of safety and sports development. Well, 1025 WBOC's Corey Phoebus found one support system that fits that bill at the Athlete Academy in Salisbury. Corey? Sports and the athletes that play them have been around pretty much since man could throw a rock, but the methods used to train these athletes safely are constantly evolving. So I came to get the latest in the industry to the Athlete Academy in Salisbury, and I get to talk with owner Cody Rebel. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Thanks for taking time to talk with me. So we're in this giant echo-filled building. I mean, this place <laughs> is huge. What is this? So this is the Athlete Academy. Um, we're over at 110 Williamsport Circle, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, what we do is we specialize in the development of youth athletics. And I say youth athletics, but we go all the way up to the collegiate level and even to adults. Okay, so what makes you different than any other training facility? That's by far my favorite question because I always give something different. Um, so the thing that we're really good at is we're stress managers, meaning we understand the whole process of training physiologically, what's going on in the body. Um, there's two things that happen during training. You got adaptation and optimization. Mm -hmm. Adaptation is what everybody knows is training. You go and you work out, you feel sore. But in that time of being sore, you're not as strong as you really could be. So what we do is we optimize athletes, specifically in season, so that way when it comes to competition time, they're at peak level of performance. Okay, well, you're talking to competition time and peak level of performance, so I'm thinking high school kids, I'm thinking collegiate athletes. Are mm -hmm. they the only two age groups you deal with? No, so we deal all the way down to six years old. So we have a, an age group of about six to 10, 11, 12. And um, I give that range because it depends on the maturation process. Mm -hmm. um, kind of going back to where we're different. Another thing that we do is we measure peak height velocity. So what that is, it kind of allows us to give a rough estimate of when they're gonna hit maturity and what level they're at. Okay. Because the training is gonna change based off of that. Um, so we have that age group six to 10, 11, 12, um, learning fundamental movements, you know, mm -hmm. how to run, skip, jump, gallop, whatever it may be. Um, big galloper. <laughs> and then we have that, uh, that, two, that second tier group, that, that middle age. Um, so this group's going to be about 10 to 14. And what they're going to do is advance those movements, um, get really proficient in them. And then after that, you've got the high school, college. Um, and that's where we really fine tune those movements and try to become elite athletes. Okay, now with sports and the women and men that play them, they're getting huge and, and they're going harder than ever, which means injuries are pretty much inevitable. Yes, um, that's a big issue right now. Um, IYCA, the International Youth Conditioning Association, just released last year that 56% of youth injuries are related to overtraining, um, which is a big issue. You know, we're, we're so far behind in the research for youth uh, training. We're advancing the adult level, but we need to catch up on youth. Okay. Um, so again, that's kind of, again, what makes us different is we understand that stress that they're getting in training, and we manage that. All right, you sound pretty passionate about this. What made you start this? Oh, well, I've been a director for youth athletics for three years and involved, I've been involved in a little bit of everything as far as training at the uh, collegiate level, uh, research, studying, you know, exercise and, and the effects of the body. And um, when it came time for me to look into grad schools and go away, I, I couldn't do it. My heart was set here with the, the athletes I already built and the clients. Why go to school when you can open your own place? I know, right? This is awesome. <laughs> Where do you see this going in the future? Multiple locations. Okay. Um, my biggest thing is I like to educate people. I'm never going to sit here and say that I know everything, um, but I also want to give forth the education that I have, kind of give back, whether it be sports coaches, sports coaches, other strength coaches, parents, athletes. I want everybody to be in the know, and I want us to all kind of grow together. Wow. Well, you certainly have your work cut out for you, man. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, buddy. The Athlete Academy, folks. I'm going to go ahead and get a workout in. I'll see you later. And one thing that Cody says on his website is that they hold their clients to high expectations so you know they're serious about seeing some results. And the team at the Athlete Academy in Salisbury will help you get there every step of the way, injury-free. Injury-free and with accountability. That's right. That's a good thing right there.